Cincinnati Open is now in the books, but a tennis controversy continues to linger, and that's the difference in prize money between the men and the women. This is a discussion that's gone on for a long time here. It's really heating up, though. This year, the men's singles winner, Yannick Sinner, taking home more than a million bucks, but the female singles winner, Sabalenka, Arena Sabalenka, only wins a little more than 520 grand. There was a difference in the men and women, the doubles winners too, the men taking on 322,000, the women 154,000. So we reached out to the Cincinnati Open to ask them about the difference and a spokesperson telling us in a statement in part that equal prize money is extremely important to them and they're hoping to get there by 2027. They say that prize money levels are based on TV ratings, sponsorships and revenue with the market paying a much higher fee for men's sports, which we've seen and lots of men's sports and women's sports when you compare the two. Yeah, Cincinnati, by the way, is an ATP Masters 1000 tournament. It should be noted that compared to other tournaments on its level, the Canadian Open has the same deal. Two to one disparity in pay for the men, but other events, the one at Indian Wells and the one in Miami actually have equal pay for men and women. So, you know, the argument when you're in basketball, NBA versus WNBA, the ratings are not comparable. But when you're talking tennis, uh, Coco Goff said it last year when she won here in Cincinnati. I fill the stadium sometimes more than the men do, and my ratings are higher than the men. I think there's a more of an argument, not in golf, but in a sport like tennis, we're seeing similar numbers.